This is LBC, I'm Clive Bull, and it's the LBC Legal Hour. Every Saturday evening at nine, we offer free legal advice. This week, we are focusing on property, and Russell Conway is here, a senior partner at Oliver Fisher Solicitors in London's Notting Hill. He's here to advise on uh, property matters. Evening, Russell. Good evening, Clive. Let's talk first about leasehold and leases, which uh, uh, we get a lot of questions about leases, and, and there is... a gather some movement on this issue well lots of people own flats and a lot of people don't realize that if you own a flat you are not a freeholder you're the owner of a a piece of land which is controlled by somebody else normally a freeholder and leaseholders have a fairly poor deal of it these days increasingly their ground rents are going up which is something they don't even know existed until they get their lease they have to pay permission charges if they want wish to sublet or if they wish to do some work to their flats in particular they're they're all having to pay service charges um they don't know how those service charges are calculated there's sinking funds there's major works fees there's insurance and people get very confused because a lot of people when they buy a flat for five hundred thousand quid they think they own it and that's the end of it but they don't they have to pay all these charges so the housing communities and local government committee have looked into this in some depth over recent months And they produced a report last week saying that things have to be changed. And you know what? I think something would happen if it weren't for this wretched Brexit business, because Parliament is paralysed at the moment. It's dreadful. But something needs to be done to protect leaseholders. And the plans they come up with are really quite drastic and really quite thoughtful, because they're talking about making ground rents fixed at a certain percentage of the overall value. They're talking about stopping this dreadful practice where ground rents double and treble off every few years. They're talking about a, an easier system where when you need a lease extension, you, you, you know how to get it. It's quick, it's efficient, and you know how your lease is going to be valued. They're talking about having a standardised system for service charges so that people know exactly what they're going to have to pay and they can budget for it. And there are so many good ideas in this report. And generally, when government committees uh, look at these things, they can be a little bit um, placid and, and come up with a few anodyne ideas. But in this particular report, they really are trying to help the leaseholder and it would be so good if the ideas in this report crystallised out into legislation because it would help so many people I and mean, it would stop developers and freeholders and managing agents exploiting flat owners. Is it significant enough that if you were thinking, I need to extend my lease, you might want to wait a year or so? Well, possibly. The the problem with lease extensions is that the cost of a lease extension goes up dramatically if your lease goes below 80 years. So, for instance, if you've got a lease which is has 81 years left on it at the moment, you wouldn't want to wait a year. Right. You'd want to do something now. If, on the other hand, you've got a lease with 90 years on it, um, you'd want to be waiting to see what happens because, at the moment, it's it's a bit of a lottery what the price is that you'll pay for that leasehold extension. The cost of doing it can be quite draconian. And not only do you pay for your own solicitor's costs, you may end up having to pay the freeholder's solicitor's costs as well. So it's all quite unpleasant and very much... Um, in the the ball court of, of the developers and the freeholders at the moment. And uh, something needs to be done to help our poor leaseholders.